Hi, my name is Carlos Roldan Blay and in this video we want to talk about the insulated cables used in high voltage lines. After watching this video, you'll be able to identify the different parts of insulated cables. The most internal part of the wire is the conductor. The current flows through this conductor. We use stranded conductors in order to increase the flexibility of the cables. After it, you will find the first semiconductor or the internal semiconductor. This semiconductor layer creates a very soft surface in the outside, so that the electric field through the insulator is totally radial. The next layer is the insulator. This layer prevents the current from flowing out of the conductor. After the insulator, we find the external semiconductor. This semiconductor layer is very soft in the internal phase. After these layers, we can find a few conductors, usually made of copper, that form the shield. The shield wires wrap around the cable, forming a helix. This also happens with the conductor wires. Then, there is a tape to keep the shield in position. Finally, we find the external sheath to protect the cable. At the beginning of the line, or sometimes at the end, or even in both sides, the shield must be extracted and connected to the ground. There are different types of grounding in high voltage lines. In order to do this, the shield is connected with a terminal. Let's see an example of this in a real cable. Here you can see a high voltage cable. The internal layer is what we call the conductor. It is formed by different wires made of aluminium. Then you can see the internal semiconductor. It is very soft outside. Then the insulator and the external semiconductor. In this case, the internal surface is the soft one, whereas the external one is rough due to the pressure of the screen. The screen has been prepared to connect to the ground. As you can see, the screen wraps the cable, forming a helix, and then it has been twisted and connected to a terminal. Outside the screen, you can see the external shed to protect the wire. In this video, we have seen the different parts that form insulated cables used in high voltage lines. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now try to review it and pause the video to guess the name of every part of this cable. Thank you for your attention.